to this, the very first part in a research series in which we will critically examine the myths and reality of the Vedas, the very first books of knowledge on our earth. The Vedas, the very source of human knowledge, rationally guide all human beings so that they can lead a life of total bliss. Scholars who have studied the Vedas very, very deeply, all realize that within these books lie the epitome of so many branches of knowledge, be it astronomy, philosophy, mathematics, history, ethics, and so, so much more. However, certain aspersions have been cast upon the Vedas by vested interests to try to prove that within the Vedas are certain unholy contents. And if these aspersions were to be believed, then the entire Hindu religion, philosophy, and set of beliefs for which the Vedas are the very core would be reduced to nothing more than savagery, barbarism, and cannibalism. Certain references from the Vedas are used to try to prove that within those books are inhuman practices, such as the denigration of women, meat-eating, casteism, polygamy, and above all, the consumption of beef. But to say that the Vedas sanction the slaughter of cows and the eating of beef is to strike a blow against the very soul of a Hindu. For love and respect for the cow is the very basic tenet of Hinduism. And when you can convince a Hindu that this basic tenet is full of falsehoods, then that Hindu becomes guilty and vulnerable. And there are millions of such ill-informed or uninformed Hindus in India who are unable to counter-argue against these accusations and thus meekly surrender. These misconceptions about the Vedas can be attributed mainly to the commentaries of Mahidhar, Uvvat, and Sayan, who wrote during the medieval years, millenniums after the inception of the Vedas. In due course, Owing to the breakdown of Vedic education for the common man, these falsehoods spread far and wide. And they took even deeper root during the imperial period, when Western scholars with their half-baked knowledge of Sanskrit transliterated the commentaries of Sayan and Mahidhar in the name of translating the Vedas, and then propagated the same around the world as the official interpretation of the Vedas. However, all these commentaries lack the prerequisite knowledge of shiksha, which is phonetics, vyakaran, which is grammar, nirukt, which is philology, nighantu, which is vocabulary, chand, which is prosody, jyotish, which is astronomy, and kalpa, all so essential for a true understanding of the Vedas. The purpose of this series of studies is to objectively evaluate all such misunderstandings about the Vedas and to establish their purity, their sanctity, their great ideals, and their philosophy. In this very first study, we will critically evaluate what the Vedas really have to say about animal slaughter, yajnas, and the consumption of beef. Om Yasmin Sarvani Bhutanyatmaiva Bhudvijanata Tatrako moha ka shoka ekatwa manu pashyataha. Those who see all beings as souls do not feel infatuation or anguish at their side, for they experience oneness with them. How could people who believed in the doctrines of indestructibility, transmigration, 
dare to kill living animals in yajnas they might be seeing the souls of their own near and dear ones of bygone days residing in those living beings anumanta vishasita nihanta kraya vikray sanskarta chopaharta cha khad kashche tighataka those who permit slaying of animals those who bring animals for slaughter those who slaughter those who sell meat those who purchase meat those who prepare dish out of it those who serve that meat and those who eat are all murderers om rih mattam yavamattam atho maasham atho tilam eshavam bhago nihito ratna dheyaya dantau ma hinsishtam pitaram mataram cha o teeth you eat rice you eat barley you eat gram and you eat sesame these cereals are specifically meant for you do not kill those who are capable of being fathers and mothers om ya amam mansamadanti parusheyam cha ye kravi garbhan khadanti keshava stanito nashayamase we ought to destroy those who eat cooked as well as uncooked meat meat involving destruction of males and females fetuses and eggs om anago hatya vai bhima kritye mano ga mashvam purusham vadhi it is definitely a great sin to kill innocence do not kill our cows horses and people how could there be justification for the killing of cows and other animals when killing is so clearly prohibited in the vedas prajavati ranami va ayakshmama vastena ishatamagashagnam sodruva asmin gopatau syat bhavirya jamanasya pashun pahi o human animals are agnya not to be killed protect the animals om gritena tau pashu straye tham protect the animals dvipadav chatushpat pahi divo vrishti meraya protect the bipeds and quadrupeds meat eaters have always been looked down in vedic literature they have been called rakshas pisach these are synonyms for demons or devils that have been cast out from civilized society om annapate annasya no dehanami vasya shushminah prapradataram tarish urjam no dehi dvipade chatushpade may all bipeds and quadrupeds gain strength and nourishment this mantra is recited by hindus before every meal how could the same philosophy that prays for the well-being of every soul every moment of life approve of the killing of animals yajna never meant animal sacrifice in the meaning popularly understood yajna in the vedas meant a noble deed or the highest purifying action अध्वर इति यज्ञनाम ध्वरतिर हिंसा कर्मा तत् प्रतिषेध वन ऑफ द सिनोनिम्स ऑफ यज्ञ इन निरुक्ता ओ द वैदिक फाइलोलॉजी इज अध्वर ध्वर मींस एन एक्ट विद हिंसा और वायलेंस देयरफॉर अध्वर मींस एन एक्ट विद नो हिंसा और नो वायलेंस देयर आर मेनी यूसेजेस ऑफ अध्वर इन द वेदास इन द पोस्ट महाभारत पीरियड मिस इंटरप्रिटेशंस ऑफ द वेदास and interpolations in other scriptures happen at various points in time acharya shankar reestablished vedic values to a certain extent in more recent times swami dayanand saraswati known as the grandfather of modern india interpreted the vedas according to the correct use of language and authentic evidence his literary works which include commentaries on the vedas satyat prakash loosely translated as the light of truth and an introduction to the veda and other texts documented 
speeches and debates with other scholars, which started widespread social reforms based on Vedic philosophy and the dispelling of myths about the Vedas. Let us now discover what the Vedas have to say about Yajna. Om Agneye Yajyamadvaram Vishwataha Paribhurasi Sait Deveshu Gachati O Lord of Prosperity, the non-violent yajna you prescribe from all sides is beneficial for all, touches divine proportions and is accepted by noble souls. In the Rig Veda, yajna is referred to as adhar or non-violent throughout. The same is the case in all of the Vedas. So how could it possibly be concluded that the Vedas permit the slaughter of animals or violence? The biggest accusation of cow and cattle slaughter is in context of those yajnas whose names are based on different types of cattle. The Ashwamedh yajna, the Gaumedh yajna, the Ajmedh yajna, the Narmedh yajna. Even by the longest stretch of the imagination, Medh could never mean slaughter. It is interesting to see what Yajur Ved says about a horse. Om imam mahigm sire kashapam pashum kanikradam vajinam vajineshu. Do not slaughter this one hoofed animal that neighs and who goes with a speed faster than most of the animals. Ashwa Medh does not mean horse sacrifice at a yajna. In fact, Yajur Ved makes it very clear that a horse should not be sacrificed. In Shatpat, Ashwa means a nation or a kingdom. And the word Med does not mean slaughter. It means an act done in accordance with the intellect. Or it could mean consolidation, as is evident from the root meaning of the word Medha, that is, Midhu Sangame Rashtramva Ashwamedha Annam Higau Agnirva Ashwaha Swami Dayanan Saraswati wrote in his book The Light of Truth A yajna dedicated to the glory, well being, and prosperity of the Rasht or the kingdom or the nation is known as the Ashwamedh yajna. The word go also means the earth. And the yajna dedicated to keep the earth and the environment clean is called the Gomed yajna. The cremation of the body of a dead person in accordance with the rules laid down by the Vedas is called Narmed yajna. The Vedas are not only against animal slaughter, but they strongly oppose and forbid cow slaughter. Yajur Ved forbids the slaughter of cows because they provide energy giving food for human beings. Om Imagn Sahasram Shatadhara Mutsam Yachyamanam Sarirasya Madhye Gritam Duhana Maditim Jana Yagne Mahinsi Parame Vyoman Do not kill cows and bulls who always deserve to be protected. Om Are Gohan Riha Vadhovo Astu in the Rig Veda, cow slaughter has been declared a crime equivalent to human murder, and that anyone who commits this crime should be severely punished. Om Suyavasad Bhagavati Bhuya Atho Vayam Bhagavantasyama Adhitrana Magne Vishwadani Pivashuddha Mudakamacharanti. The Agnya cows, which are not to be killed under any circumstances, may keep themselves healthy by use of pure water and green grass so that we may be endowed with virtues, knowledge and wealth. The Vedic lexicon Nikantu gives amongst other synonyms of ka or cow the words Agnya, Ahi and Aditi. Yask, the commentator on Nikantu defines these as Agnya, the one that ought not to be killed. Ahi, the one that must not be slaughtered. Aditi, the one that ought not to be cut into pieces. 
ओम आग्नियम सा वर्धता महते सौभगाय काउ द अग्निया ब्रिंग्स अस हेल्थ एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी ओम सुप्रपाणम भवत्व अग्नियाभ्य देयर शुड बी एक्सीलेंट फैसिलिटी फॉर प्योर वाटर फॉर अग्निया काउ ओम यह पौरुषेयेन क्रविशा समंते यो अश्वेन पशुनाया तुधान यो अग्न्याया भरति क्षीरमग्ने तेषां शीर्षाणि हरसापि वृश्च दोस हु फीड ऑन ह्यूमन हॉर्स और एनिमल फ्लैश एंड दोस हु डिस्ट्रॉय मिल्क गिविंग अग्न्या काउस शुड बी सीवियरली पनिश्ड ओम विमुच्यध्वमग्न्या देवयाना अगन्मतमसस पारमस्य द अग्न्या काउस एंड बुल्स ब्रिंग यू प्रॉस्पेरिटी ओम आगामनागाम अदितिम वधिष्ठ डू नॉट किल द काउ काउ इज इनोसेंट एंड अदिति दैट ऑट नॉट टू बी कट इनटू पीसेस ओम अंतकाय गोघातम डिस्ट्रॉय दोस हु किल काउस ओम यदि नोगाम हिंसि अध्यश्वम यदि पुरुषम तंत्वा सीसे न विध्यामो यथा नोसो अवीरहा इफ समवन डिस्ट्रॉयज आवर काउस हॉर्सेस ऑफ पीपल किल हिम विद अ बुलेट ऑफ लेड अन्यो अन्यम अभिहरियत वत्सम जातम इवाग्न्या लव ईच अदर एज द अग्निया नॉन किलेबल काउ लव्स इट्स काफ ओम धेनुम सदनम रईणाम काउ इज फाउंटेन हेड ऑफ ऑल बाउंटीज द एंटायर 28th सूक्त और हिम ऑफ द 6th मंडल ऑफ द ऋग्वेदा सिंग्स ऑफ द ग्लोरी ऑफ द काउ ओम आगावो अग्मन्नुत भद्रमक्रंसीदंतु गोष्ठे रणयंतस्मे Everyone should ensure that cows are free from miseries and kept healthy. Bhuyo bhuyo rai midasya vardhayan abhinne khilye nadadhati devayum. God blesses those who take care of cows. Om nata nashanti nadabhati taskaro na sama mitro vyathirada dharshati. Even the enemy should not use any weapon on cows. ओम नता अर्वारेणु ककाटो अश्नुतेन संस्कृतत्रम उपयंतिता अभि नो वन शुड स्लॉटर द काउ उरुगायम भयम तस्यता अनुगावो मर्तस्य विचरन्ति अज्वनः काउ ब्रिंग्स प्रॉस्पेरिटी एंड स्ट्रेंथ ओम यूयम गावो मेदयथा कृशम चिद श्रीरम चित कृणुथा सुप्रतीकम इफ काउस कीप healthy and happy men and women shall also keep disease free and prosperous ma vahaste na ishata magha shansa parivo heti rudrasya vridhya may the cow eat green grass and drink pure water may they not be killed and bring prosperity to us what more proof does one need to fully understand the high esteem with which not only the cow but all living beings are held in the vedas now you you the learned audience after what you have just seen and heard can decide for yourself that the vedas are against all in human practices especially the consumption of beef and the slaughter of cows there is no beef in the vedas समानो मंत्र समिति समाने समान मन सहचिवेशन मंत्रमंत्र सोह विषाजु भूमि समानी 
सुसहाय सती ओ